Chemical Equilibrium, Part 3, Pressure and Heterogeneous Equilibria. This video should help you to write and use equilibrium expressions using partial pressures instead of concentrations. To relate the equilibrium constant for concentration to the equilibrium constant for pressure, and to write and use equilibrium expressions for heterogeneous equilibria. Recall that the law of mass action shown here relates the concentrations of reactants and products for a system at equilibrium to the equilibrium constant K. This constant can also be written Kc to distinguish it from another equilibrium constant Kp. For gaseous equilibria, the law of mass action states that the equilibrium constant Kp is equal to the product of the partial pressures at equilibrium for each product raised to the power of its stoichiometric coefficient divided by the product of the partial pressures at equilibrium for each reactant raised to the power of its stoichiometric coefficient. This equilibrium constant is simply calculated from the law of mass action using partial pressures of each gas instead of the molar concentrations. For example, the reaction that forms nitrosyl chloride, shown here, is known to have equilibrium partial pressures of 1.2 atmospheres 0 0.050 atmospheres and 0 0.30 atmospheres for nitrosyl chloride, nitric oxide, and chlorine, respectively. The value of the equilibrium constant Kp can simply be calculated by substituting the partial pressures and the coefficients into the law of mass action. This calculation yields a Kp value of 1.9 times 10 to the third power. Using the ideal gas law and the law of mass action, the following relationship between K and Kp can be derived. Kp is equal to K times the quantity Rt to the power of delta N. R is the universal gas constant, and delta N is the difference in the sums of the coefficients for the gaseous products and reactants. In other words, delta N is moles of product gas minus moles of reactant gas. This relationship allows one to calculate Kp from K and vice versa. For example, the reaction for the formation of nitrosyl chloride had previously been determined to have an equilibrium constant Kp with a value of 1.9 times 10 to the third power. Can you calculate the value of the equilibrium constant K, which relates the molar concentrations of reactants and products? If we rearrange this relationship to solve for the unknown K, then we get K equal to Kp divided by the quantity Rt to the power of delta N. By substituting Kp, R, and T along with the difference between the total number of product moles, 2, and the total number of reactant moles, 3, we can calculate the value for K. K is equal to 4.6 times 10 to the fourth. Before we go on focusing on how to solve equilibrium problems, we should stop and consider heterogeneous equilibria. In a heterogeneous equilibria, more than one phase is present. For example, the commercial production of lime involves this equilibrium between solid calcium carbonate and solid calcium oxide and gaseous carbon dioxide. This is a heterogeneous equilibrium because it contains solids and gases. A straightforward application of the law of mass action would lead one to believe the equilibrium expression was as it is shown here, including all of the products and reactants. However, experimental results show that the equilibrium position for a heterogeneous reaction like this one does not depend on the amounts of any pure solids or pure liquids present. This is because, as a reaction proceeds, the concentration of a solid or liquid does not change over time. As a result, these concentrations, constant concentrations can be included as part of the equilibrium constant. In this case, then, the equilibrium expression should be written only in terms of the gaseous product. 
K equals the molar concentration of carbon dioxide alone. This video has covered equilibrium topics such as the pressure equilibrium constant, Kp, its relationship to the concentration equilibrium constant, K, and the equilibrium expression for heterogeneous equilibria. If you need to review these topics, rewatch this video and read the appropriate pages in your textbook. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.